What's up guys, welcome to the channel today. We have the GMC back in the stall that we're doing the short bed, short frame swap on this. It's a 2024 GMC Sierra. We did a 6.2 swap with a late model engine, LME engine in it. Uh, it's eventually gonna be a single turbo. We're gonna leave the 10 speed and it is a four wheel drive truck in case you guys have not been following. Uh, right now we got our ICT intake adapters here for it. We did put LT4 heads on this engine which have a different intake bolt pattern because we are still using a stock 6.2 six, uh, truck intake on this thing. So uh, Steve's putting those on right now. We'll show you guys what they look like. And that way, you know, if you do a swap down the road, you guys can uh, use these as well. So look at one of the adapter plates here. Basically this changes the bolt pattern to go from up here down to here for the intake because that's what a uh, uh, LT4 is gonna be up here. And the NA intakes are gonna be down to the middle so it adapts it all over. It comes with an O-ring in there. That's how it looks when it's sitting on the engine. So that way we can bolt the intake down just like it was before. It does space space it up a little taller, yep. but we, we have found out it doesn't really change a lot of the geometry on the front accessory drive kit. So the same belt and everything will still work. So it's, it's good. Obviously the belt will work on an NA setup because you don't have a belt connected to the intake. But um, if you do use these for like an LT4 swap or you know going the other way around, um, the same belt and everything usually typically works. Even yeah, using like an SS Camaro. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yep. The truck spacers, though, they're tall. They're about yeah, that tall. Yeah, to clear the alternator yep. over here. Yep. But we don't have to worry about yeah, that. Yeah, about two inches. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Got the wheels on. <clears throat> and then we're going to try to figure out the fuel line debacle. The wrong fuel line came yeah, in. Yeah, this is the line here. It's just short. So we're thinking might be able to just use some 6AN fuel line with some, like, fuel line style clamps. Yeah. And just clamp it on because I'm pretty sure it's three eighths barb. Yeah. This is just the section that needs to be shorter. And it's low pressure, so it's not like super high pressure yeah, or anything. 70, We're talking 67. maximum 65 psi yeah, probably. Yeah. And then the, uh, we'll probably have our low side go all the way up in T at the manifold. Sweet. Whenever we go there. Should be good. <laughs> yeah, get it tightened up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to let you know whenever I post a new video. Got the drive shaft in from Gears Unlimited. This is a carbon drive shaft. This is what we use in like our Nemo race car. These drive shafts hold a lot of power. We put all these in our OBS swaps as well. Uh, so we got this all made up and we'll get this put in the truck. Steve is buttoning up the final couple things on here. We went ahead and put the drain on the oil pan for the turbo kit. So right now we're just capping that, obviously, because we don't have a turbo kit on it yet. Um, doing that, and then Steve's going to put some oil in it. Well, put the drive shaft uh, in. Bleed the brakes, too, I forgot. Got to bleed the brakes. Bleed, bleed. Fuel line, and then I'll we're getting the there. Fuel line. Fuel we're line's done. Oh, the fuel line's done? Yep, it worked. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I was able to use some 8AN hose and the fuel line clamps, and... It's on there pretty good. Cool. So yeah, I guess uh, once we can start the truck up and know it runs and everything, then we'll put the bed on there. We'll know that Escalade V pump works and we should be ready to rock. Yeah, you hear this thing run. <laughs> Look at this. Pete even painted the very bottom lower valence. That's pretty crazy. Get this thing washed up, get all the mud off of it. Get the Sierra badges off. Get it cleaned up and do some do some driving around. All right, I do believe we're about ready to fire this thing up for the first time. Pretty excited. Pretty excited. Hopefully the, the Escalade V pump works in the tank. If it does, we'll get the bed on this thing and get this thing tuned. It'll be driving soon. Definitely came on. Yeah, it, it, it did yeah, something. Yeah, it did, it primed. Ready? Yeah. It's all new 
all new DI stuff, so it might take a few cranks. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> it runs. Okay, so we're having some issues with uh, the truck starting up. It, it basically will run for a few seconds and die. We've, we've actually ran into this issue before um, and we think there's a patch or something that needs to be put in the PCM from HP Tuner. So they're actually working on it really quickly and getting us an answer here pretty fast. But in the meantime, we know everything works. We know that Escalade V fuel pump and everything's good there. So we're gonna go ahead and put the bed on the truck and get this thing back on the ground. It'll basically look complete. Uh, well, it will be complete minus uh, just the PCM. So we'll uh, get that rock and rolling right now and uh, show you what all show you what it looks like here in a second. Steve, we got a bed. Bed's on. Time for some trim and wheels. Looks good. <laughs> so we had this bed painted. It came black. It was from a salvage yard, and it was weird. They said these beds are like new salvage beds from GM, and the inside's not even painted from gm so we're gonna have a spray and bed liner put in this thing once we get the truck all done but it is all fresh paint on the outside it has some scratches and stuff on it from being in the salvage yard so we got all that stuff we got our uh, color match bumpers we got the color match trim guards the caps and then we're gonna get our taillights and stuff in and then this thing will be basically wrapped up guys Got pretty much everything on. Steve's grabbing the tailgate right now. He's coming over here. So we'll have that all done. Does the back of the tailgate have like a liner on it? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Never noticed. Never noticed it. Fish the harness through the hole. Yeah. You can do that. Over the hole in the middle. Yep. Go right through there. That side. Also, when you go to the shore bed, you have to buy these from the dealership too. These are the bed caps. Obviously, they're shorter on this one. So we got those from the dealership today. Got the wheels back on. Looks good. Gonna lower her down. See how it sits. Pretty good. Perfect for a four wheel drive truck. Oh yeah. Nice. Give, a little... Give a little tug there, Steve. Oh yeah. And then the yeah, front, the I front just needs aligned. Yeah. Well, it's gonna look nice when it's aligned. Yeah. It sits about like the F one fifties do. Yeah. Four wheel drive F one fifties. Pretty close, yeah. That looks good. Nice. I just want to hear it rip. I do too. We're here and check on Nemo. Got the cage. Looking good. Got the dash somewhat in there. Camp's pretty much almost done with all the stuff. Almost done. Very close. Very close. We're getting the rear going too now. Got the panel going over the back fuel cell, all the good stuff. All of it. We'll have to, we're making this little entry into the fuel cell. Here. Yeah, we're gonna have our, ourselves a little, <laughs> little fuel pickup there we can pour fuel into. We can do our own pit stops. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting super close. Uh, we will have to drop the cradle just one more time because I do have to weld those. Yeah. But luckily it's still all apart. Nice. <laughs> we don't have, I think four bars or whatever. The only thing that's going to be tough it. with the fuel fill is we don't know the level in the tank. We're not going to be able to see in the tank. You can fill it up to that cap. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it seals, Cam. Uh, 
But yeah, everything else inside, I think I have like the two door bars. I haven't put the X over here just because I was getting yeah. in and out. I got that one started. Um, but yeah, the carpet I took back out. I got some metal shavings on it and I was like, man, it's hard to vacuum. So I ripped all that out. Two Gotta do some paint. Along. Yep, yep, and the painting. Luckily we got the tops already done, so. Yeah. It won't be too bad. Cam's got a lot done on Nemo on the inside. I'm gonna show y'all where we're at right now. We're actually on the home stretch in my opinion. All right, we got carpet in, got the center console, got the dash in. Here's a look at how everything turned out. Looks, looks really nice. Once we get everything painted, we got some carbon uh, bar protectors here that's gonna just kind of complete everything with the black bars, carbon on them got the seat going in there gonna get our steering wheel in we're still gonna stick with the factory steering wheel in it yeah everything turned out really nice in here